uh, when we did Khuda Office, we didn't expect, we were hoping, but we didn't really expect such an overwhelming response. While we were shooting the second part, we didn't think, oh my God, we have to surpass something. It was just about like, we got to get it right, we got to get it right. And when I look, look at the movie, I just watched the movie recently. Uh, I think we've really done a good job. I'm proud of what the director has really done. Without a doubt, it is Farooq, the way he thinks. I just surrender to him. And to surrender to somebody, you really have to have a great belief system. You just can't surrender. So I think the way he, uh, the way he took me through the journey, it's, it's amazing. And I really want to work with only people who sincerely have great belief in their belief system. If you succeed, you feel happy about it. And I think that's the biggest reward you get. I succeed most of the time. There's no bigger love than parental love. I've always heard this, but as an actor, I really experienced it for the first time. Like when somebody says that I can kill for my child, if my child is in danger, I believe them now. It's an emotion you just can't experience without experiencing parenthood. There's a lot of talent out there, lots of talent, and I was one of them. Somebody gave me a break, somebody believed in me. Over the years, I've seen great actors, I've been watching them on screen, and then they vanished. I always wondered, where is this actor gone? Oh, where's this one gone? Um, I wanted to work with all of them and the only way to do it was to produce movies. But yes, there's a perception that Vijay doesn't socialize, he doesn't go out. I do, but not with you guys. <laughs> I love to party, but with people who I really enjoy being with. Like, we all go out, there's nobody who's, recluse, who's a recluse, most of us. But sometimes you don't resonate with people, you don't want to hang around with people who you really don't enjoy. I think stereotype is quite cool. Why not? If you're good at something, let them say you are good at this. I will make you do it. Hi guys, I'm Xenia and you're watching News 18 Shosha. Today I have with me the man who everyone should fear. Matlab, the reason I might be stuttering might also be because he's sitting in front of me, but he is such a sweet person. I'm talking about Vidya Jamwal, who is all set with his upcoming film, Khuda Hafiz 2, Agni Pariksha. थिएटर्स <laughs> 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 So the reception was so grand. Hmm. How do you feel when you were shooting? Did you feel that kind of baggage? Ki first part itna acha tha, second part me we have to match it up. We have to go beyond. No, not really. Like one step at a time. Always in life. Uh, when we did Khuda Office, we didn't expect. We were hoping, but we didn't really expect such an overwhelming response. While we were shooting the second part, we didn't think, oh my God, we have to surpass something. It was just about like, we got to get it right, we got to get it right. right. And when I look, look at the movie, I just watched the movie recently. Uh, okay. I think we've really done a good job. I'm proud of what the director has really done. Happy. Okay. Happy. What was the most difficult part about shooting Khuda Hafiz 2? A lot of things. Uh, see, with Khuda Hafiz 1, we, uh, the director chose to shoot in all real locations. There were no sets mm -hmm. per se. Farooq is like that. Okay. He believes uh, in the reality of cinema. In the second part also he did the same and uh, most of the action sequences are on, like there's a place called Kasaiwara, the butcher place and mm. uh, it's quite cumbersome to shoot there, not easy at all. Then we went to uh, Egypt, at the pyramids to shoot. Like okay. pyramids is quite sacrosanct to a lot of people mm. so they're very careful about, oh you can't do this, you can't do that. It was not as easy but when I look back and I look at the movie, it's quite a good feeling. Wow. And with this has always come to my mind with Farooq being there, who is mm. also like you know a practitioner of mixed martial arts. He is, he is. You are there. So when we think of you and Farooq coming together, we always think of something like hardcore action. Mm. Bhot, but the mm. action hoga. Mm. But this is a film, this is a franchise which had surprised us because of how well it balanced mm. emotion and storyline with action. So how did you reach that point? You know, honestly, I can't take any credit to it. It's all Farooq Kabir, the way he thinks, the way he writes, the way he conceives things. It's amazing. Uh, without a doubt, it is Farooq, the way he thinks. I just surrender to him. And to surrender to somebody, you really have to have a great belief system. You just can't surrender. So I think the way he, uh, the way he took me through the journey, it's, hmm. it's amazing. And I really want to work with only 
people who sincerely have great belief in their belief system. Okay. Also, this is one of the films where uh, we think that you are taking it a notch higher mm. in terms of action also. Because the action was very, uh, it was there, but very subtle for mm. the first part. Mm -hmm. But here we see you in this Ruthless. action mode. Ruthless. Yeah, yeah. Ruthless is the Ruthless. word. Ruthless. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how did that come up? Because you are not just the actor in the film. You also have seen the action stunts. Mm -hmm. So, how was that? You know, every time I do a movie, it's an, any movie, mm, whether it's Sanak or Jungli or Commando, every time I finish something and the next time I'm at the promotions, they say, what is different this time? That pressure is quite pressurizing. Okay. <laughs> so, for me, uh, in the second part, we had to surpass what we'd done in the first because there were a lot of people who said, phenomenal with you, what a great uh, movie, but we want some more action. So, they will get it this time. Okay. That, I'm very proud of what we've done. Okay, and we are totally looking forward to it because mm. you know, uh, ruthless as you said, ruthless. Sameer looks ruthless so we want to see ki kya hua and the fact ki Nargis or Sameer pe itte saare matlab uh, Atyachar Haan, and uh, Agni Pariksha hai unko hi deni pad rahi hai What's the Agni Pariksha that you have given in your life? No, Agni Pariksha like I was talking to somebody is quite a big word to be going through in life It's an experience that I hope nobody goes through mm -hmm. Like, um, of course but Nothing, like, I, I don't think I've gone through an Agni Pariksha like that, but I think life is about a lot of tests that we have to go through. Every, everything is like something you have to surpass. Uh, it could be anything. It, like, when we meet people, there's a conundrum in your head that do I have to really be nice to somebody? Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't know this human being. These are also small tests that we all go through in our daily lives. Um, I think if you succeed, you feel happy about it. Hmm. And I think that's the biggest reward you get. I succeed most of the times. Of course, because uh, you have succeeded. You have been this man who is one of the most dangerous men to be around. So, okay. <laughs> no, but that's I, like it's, it's, like, yes, I am one of those people that have been awarded this award. But uh, I see it in a very different way. Huh. People should... Be my friend, so that people should be worried about that person. Ha, koi panga na le panga mujhse, na because I am your friend. Yes. Okay, I'll be your friend. You are my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Also, Vidyut, uh, it's been 11 years hmm. in uh, film industry hmm. and you had begun your career with a Telugu film. Hmm. Now, when we see this is a very uh, topic of debate, the Telugu, Tamil, Kannar, hmm. South industries are flourishing and yep. Bollywood sometimes is not able to match up to it. So, what do you think is very different about uh, those industries down South? Versus how Hindi film industry works. Are you talking about what's the difference between them? Or difference of what's, what do you think is the reason for them to huh. prosper? It's just great timing. I think people have started enjoying cinema in a very different way. I've been watching South movies in the dubbed versions mm -hmm. all my life. Like I have really always enjoyed the South movies and our Hindi cinema. I enjoy the Punjabi cinema too. For me, I really think that this whole... Uh, diversion, uh, this whole division of this is not South, it doesn't work in my head because like I've been saying, I'm an army kid and if you're an army's personal son, you don't see them like that. My dad was posted in Jammu and Kashmir and we had the uh, Assam rifles next to us, the Bihar regiment next to us. So we don't see North, East, West, South. Hmm. I also don't see it like that. So anybody who prospers, whether it's the Eastern cinema, Punjabi cinema, any other language, for me it's a success as an Indian. So I don't see that. Uh, I don't see the divide at all. Wow. Uh, this has also. Uh, this has to be asked as well. When you were shooting for Khuda Hafiz mm. 2, something special happened in your personal life as well mm. in Lucknow. Mm. So uh, how did everything come around? How did the engagement happen? I would love to know. No, um, I, you know, I normally don't plan anything in life because I sincerely believe that he plans it better for me. Because every time I've decided of something to do, it doesn't go exactly like that. So about a few years back, I realized that if you, like they say, if you want to make fun of God, tell him your plan. Mm. I stopped planning in life. <laughs> it was impromptu. I just thought I had some time, I had a day off and that's how it happened. Wow. And congratulations on that. You are now an engaged man. Thank you. Yes. And uh, finally, uh, you know, uh, when we talk about Khuda Hafiz 2, there's so many things that we are looking forward to. Mm. But what was that one thing that really attracted you to this? 
for you, your personal favorite thing about Khuda Hafiz too? I think the experience of believing my parents or my friend's parents or somebody's parents saying that there's no bigger love than parental love. I've always heard hmm. this, but as an actor, I really experienced it for the first time. Like when somebody says that I can kill for my child, if my child is in danger, I believe them now. It's an emotion you just can't experience without experiencing parenthood. So for me, it was amazing when I read the script and I thought, my God, this will be really different. It was different for me. I liked it. Okay. You know, 11 years in the industry, 2009, 2009 you started, right? 2010. 2010, 12 hmm. years in the industry. Oh. And uh, you have a production house as well now. So but your transition as a producer is something that we would like to know about more. So like I said, I, I never planned to be a producer, never ever. It's just happened. Uh, there was a time I just realized that there's a lot of talent out there, lots of talent. And I was one of them. Somebody gave me a break. Somebody hmm. believed in me. Uh, over the years, I've seen great actors. I've been watching them on screen and then they vanished. I always wondered, where is this actor gone? Uh, where is this one gone? Um, I wanted to work with all of them. And okay. the only way to do it was to produce movies. Uh, when I started producing, I, the first film I've done is IB71. I looked for all those people that I believed had potential. I made a call to all of them, all alive, all there, dying to work. We worked with all of them. Editor, cameraman. So Action Hero Films, the basic action that we believe in is if you like something, if you believed in somebody, work with them. Um, the next movie, Crack, I'm doing. I'm working with a director that I've always believed in. Mm -hmm. um, when I did IAB 71, we were looking for a director and uh, I'd watched Ghazi Attack once at home and I thought, phenomenal director. So I called a few people up and I said, where is this director? So somebody told me that, oh, he's too arrogant, that's why he doesn't work. I wanted to listen, I wanted to just experience it on my own. I flew to Hyderabad for a day and I realized that he's quite a, he's quite a, he's somebody who doesn't go out, he doesn't mm. socialize like me. And hence he's, he, people say he's arrogant. I met him in the first five minutes, I knew that I will convince him to work with me. So I'm working with people like this and I'm really happy. Okay. You said that the perception about a lot of people have changed because there's a different kind of perception about people who don't go out like yep. you. Yep. So do you think your perception also somewhere is very different in the industry, which is also one of the reasons why you started the production house? No, that's not the reason I started the production house. But yes, there's a perception that Vijay doesn't socialize, he doesn't go out. I do, but not with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love to party. But with people who uh, I really enjoy being course. with, like we all go out. There's nobody who's recluse, who's a recluse, most of <laughs> us. <laughs> but sometimes you don't resonate with people. You don't want to hang around with people who you really don't enjoy. And I have met a lot of people like that, a lot of talented people, a lot of creative people. It's a perception. And I think sometimes some things we don't know of, we should go and meet them. Of course. Things and people. And uh, because you are an action hero, so this perception is always built that probably makers will approach you for action films. Mm -hmm. Has that happened, that stereotyping in Bollywood? See, with me, I started as the negative hmm. lead. Uh, and initially they told me, oh, they will stereotype you. Then I, luck I was lucky to get Commando. And then they said, oh, they will stereotype you. I think stereotype is quite cool. Why not? If you're good at something, let them say, you are good at this. I will make you do it. Then there will be a time when you decide that, okay, I want to do something else. It's in your hands. So I'm enjoying being who I am. Okay, okay. Many Bollywood actors are also trying their hands at, uh, in the West. So are you also looking forward to venture into the West anytime soon? You know, with me, I, like I said, I don't plan, plan things. Yes. I sincerely believe that if you keep working, things will come around you. Like, if you got to be shining so bright, so bright that the rest of the planets come around you. I believe in that and I'm working on that only. So when will we see Vidyut the dancer? Because Gal Ban Gai, I saw it a few years ago, I thought your dancing was very good. Why are we not seeing Vidyut the dancer? You will see Vidyut the dancer. I dance at all my friends' weddings. I have to tell you, I'm the most crazy dancer over there. The music <laughs> something else and I'm in some other rhythm. I, I enjoy dancing and I, uh, no, it was a part of the movie. If it's in the script, I will. 
Okay, hopefully somebody is going to offer Vidyut a script where he will play a dancer. Yes, please. I really want to see you in that avatar. I will produce that movie. I will dance <laughs> to my own tunes. Okay, <laughs> that's that's the spirit. So that's uh, that's from Vidyut Jamwal. And uh, before we go, what should we say? Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. May God keep you protected and peaceful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for joining with News 18, Shosha. Thank you, girl. Thank you. मैं हूं विद्युत जामवाल और मेरी फिल्म खुदा हाफिज अग्नि परीक्षा आठ जुलाई को रिलीज हो रही है बट ये जो चैनल है न्यूज 18 शोशा प्लीज सब्सक्राइब करिए लाइक बटन दबाइए और सारा सारा प्यार दे दीजिए